Hi, I'm Maury Reese. In this video, I want to talk about a problem that a lot of us uh, Tyros and Yamaha keyboard players have. We have lots and lots of styles that we can store or call up in our keyboards. I probably have four or five thousand styles that I can instantly access in my Tyros. The problem is, if somebody walked up to me and said, uh, Maury, can you play Blowing in the Wind? I know that song very well. But it might take me 15 minutes, it might take me a half an hour, it might take me an hour and a half to search through five or six thousand different styles until I finally came up with one that fit playing Blowing in the Wind. And then a minute later you say, oh, I've changed my mind. Would you play Glenn Miller's In the Mood? Well, I got to go searching once again through all of these thousands of styles. And it might take me a half an hour to finally come up with a style that fit that. There's a solution to this. What, instead of storing the styles under their style name, what if I stored all of my styles by the name of the song that that style is used to play. So if someone came up to me and said, Maury, could you play Blowing in the Wind? Within 30 seconds, I can find Blowing in the Wind, or at least the style, and play it for you. There's a name for all of this, and it's called Gig Disc, G-I-G, Disc. This is a word that goes all the way back to the 1920s. In the 1920s, the jazz musicians used the word gig to mean they had a paying job. You know, I've got a gig in a bar. Uh, I've got a gig uh, in a dance band. Uh, I've got a gig in a nightclub. It was a paying job. I'm going to go out and play some music, and I'm going to be paid for it. That's what a gig is. Fast forward to today... They would take these songs and all of these styles, and 15 or 20 years ago, they stored them all on a floppy disk, hence the name gig disk. So it was a diskette that had hundreds, if not thousands, of styles stored on them, all arranged alphabetically by the names of the songs that those styles were used for. That's what a gig disc is. Today, we don't really use diskettes. I can't remember the last time I plugged a diskette into my Macintosh. What we use today are USB thumb drives. I have a dozen of these things laying in a drawer of my desk. This one happens to be 64 gigabyte. This one little thumb drive holds the capacity of 160,000 of my old Macintosh diskettes. So when I say a uh, gig disk, this is my gig disk today. And on this, I'm going to store thousands of styles. But those styles are named and organized alphabetically by the name of the song that that style would be used to play. So I'm going to do two things, basically. I'm going to go on to my Mac, and I'm going to show you where I go to download these gig discs. And then I'll show you how I plug this into my keyboard and how I go in and search to find a specific song on here that I want to play. Okay? Let's get started. Here we are on my Macintosh. What I'm going to do is take you into a website where I can download gig disk. Ready? Here we go. Click, click. The website is called PSR Tutorial, and its URL is psrtutorial.com. If you've seen my other videos, you're familiar with this website because this is one of my favorite websites to download styles. All right, we're after gigs. So the first step is to come up here and select styles, okay? And I'm flashing it for you. Click there, ready? Click. 
Now there's lots here and you can come and read it on your own later. I want to go to the place where I can download Gig Disk. And it's this tab right here that says Gig Disk. And I'm flashing it for you so you can see it. Ready? I'm going to click, click. Now we're inside the section where there are Gig Disk. And altogether there are over 10,000 styles that have been organized into Gig Disk. Over here on the left, you see names of people. These are the people that have created these gig discs. Many of them, I dare say most of them, are professional musicians. They do this for a living. But they have decided to give these things away. And this doesn't cost anything, and this is all perfectly legal. <coughs> Now, we could look at lots of these. I'm going to choose this guy, Graham UK, and I'm going to click on his name. Ready? Click. Graham tells us a little bit about himself, and that's interesting. He has 288 songs all together in his gig disc. So I'm going to scroll down, and what he's done is he has organized them alphabetically by the name of the song. So in this verse section is all the song titles starting with A through the letter C. Here's the songs D through H, uh, songs I through L, M through R, uh, and all the way down to Z. So if I want, I can simply click on one of these and I will download all of the songs whose title begin with the letters A through C. That's one way to do it. I want to grab everything he's got. I want all 288 of these. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and down at the bottom, here it is, download all 288 styles simply by clicking right here. So with one click of the mouse, I'm going to download all of these folders that contain these songs. Here we go. Ready? Click, and it's done. So now let me put this away. We're done with this website. I don't need it anymore. The question is, where did the gig disk go? Where are they? Down here in my dock, I want to open up the downloads folder. Click, and here it is. And sure enough, inside the downloads folder, is a folder named Graham. That's the name of the guy that created these dig gis, uh, gig disk. Can't say this word. Just for fun, I'm going to double click this and open it up so you can see what's inside. Click, click. And inside, there are the individual gig disk. Think of each one of these as a gig dig disk. A gig disk. <laughs> Having trouble saying that word. So I've got all of these, and they are all inside this one folder called Gram. With me so far? Okay. Let me move this down so I can see my desktop. So this is inside my downloads folder in the hard drive of my Macintosh. Here is the icon for the USB thumb drive that I've already plugged into my Mac. And it's a pretty good size. It will hold 64 gigabytes of information. I'm going to open it up just to show you that right now it's empty. There's nothing in it. So what I want to do, let me move my windows. I want to transfer this gig folder in my downloads into the thumb drive. And on a Mac, it's simply drag and drop. Ready? Click, drag, drop. And it takes just a few seconds. It's telling me it's downloading it. And we're almost done. Done. Now I'm going to close up the downloads folder. I don't need that anymore. And here we are looking inside my thumb drive at the folder called Gram. And if I open it up, click, click, sure enough, here are the individual folders with the names alphabetical of names of the songs. Remember, the idea of a 
gig disc is to arrange everything by song titles, not style names. Okay. So I'm going to close that up. So on my thumb drive now, I have 288 styles, all organized by the name of songs. And they're alphabetical, and they're in a number of folders. With me so far? Good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the Mac, I'm going to unplug my thumb drive, take it over to my Tyros Yamaha keyboard, stick this thumb drive in there, and then I'll show you how do I get to the thumb drive and how do I load in the gig disk. Okay? Here we are looking at the home screen of my Yamaha Tyros 5 keyboard. Now I'm going to take that thumb drive that I loaded the gig disk onto and I'm going to plug it into my Tyros keyboard right now and watch what happens. Here we go. Take just a second. The minute I do it, it says device is connected. So that tells me that my keyboard now recognizes that USB thumb drive. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to tell my Tyros to go and look inside that thumb drive because that's where all of my gig disks are stored. To do that, I want to press the style button, this button right here. And so over here on the left is the button and I'm going to press it now. Click. By default, my Tyros always looks inside the memory of my Tyros to find the styles. I need to tell my Tyros, no, I want you to look inside that thumb drive. And to do that, I need to tab over. It's hard to see, but this says USB. So this button right here tabs to the right. Ready? Click, click, click. Aha! Now my Tyros is looking inside that USB thumb drive. And sure enough, there is the folder called Gram. That's the one we just downloaded off of the internet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that folder and I do that by pressing the button adjacent to the folder. Ready? Click. Looks good. I instantly recognize here are all of the gig disk. They're folders. I'm calling them gig disk because inside each of these folders is an alphabetical list of styles, but they are listed alphabetically by the title of the song that I would play. Okay? For example, Let's say somebody wants me to play uh, Apache. So I'm going to open up the first gig disk, which is letters A through C. These are all songs beginning with the letter A through C. Click. Now, there are four pages, 10 songs per page. So there are 40 songs all together in here. I'm looking for Apache, so I'm going to go to page two by pressing this button right here. And sure enough, there's Apache. Turns out there are two versions of it, two different uh, styles. Uh, I've already listened to these and I happen to know that I like this one best. So I've loaded it in and now I'm pressing the buttons and uh, I'm going to play this for you, and I'll play the introduction. Sure enough, that's Apache. Okay, so by pressing these buttons, all of these styles 
are listed alphabetically by the name of the song. Here, for example, is Chariots of Fire. Uh, this is Close to You, City of New Orleans. Now what I want to do is I want to back up and I want to go back one page. And to do that, I need to press this up button. And that is this key right here. So I'm going to press it. Click. I've backed up one step. And once again, here are my gig discs. And I'm going to take you into, uh, let's go into this one, D through H. Click. So now we're looking into it, and, and uh, with my data entry wheel, I can scroll through here. Okay, uh, how about ghost writers? Let's say that I'm looking for ghost writers. Here's ghost writers. So when I click on that, I should hear something that sounds country and western. <laughs> That's Ghost Riders. Okay, let's back up one. Let's go into this folders, M through R. And let's say I'm looking for a Massachusetts. There it is right there. So I click that. I've now loaded the style that would be used to play the song Massachusetts. And let me just start it off so we can hear what that sounds like. And most of these songs, they've also included an intro. Okay, there's Massachusetts. Let me go up once again. And let me go into uh, uh, M, N, O, P, Q, R. M through R. And let's say I want to play a Pretty Woman. So I'm going to scroll through here till I get to the P's. And uh, there's Pretty Woman. Turns out he's got two different songs. I'm going to choose this one. And once again, I'll just play the intro for you. Here we go. Okay, one more. Let me go up once again. And let me go into uh, W. Somebody wants me to play Whiter Shade of Pale. Okay, so now I'm looking in the W's. And once again, these are all listed alphabetically by the song title. So I'm looking for Whiter. Here it is right here. Whiter Shade of Pale. So I select that, and once again, I'll just play the intro for you. Yeah, that sounds like that would work. So that's it. That's what a gig disc is. It's a disc, in this case it's a thumb drive, that is filled with hundreds if not thousands of styles. But the styles are all organized alphabetically by the name of the song that that style would be used to play. So on my gig disc, 
I look for song titles. That's how I identify the styles. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.